Hey everyone, this is Tass and welcome to Cooking with Tass. So in my last video, I've shown you guys how to make dosa and how to ferment the dosa batter in the instant pot. So whenever I make dosa, I like to serve chutneys along with my dosas. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a very delicious and aromatic chutney out of onions, tomatoes and coconut. And this is one of my favorite chutneys. So when I make chutneys, I like to roast all the ingredients first. So in this recipe, I've added onion, tomatoes, coconut, um, dried whole uh, red chilies and some whole spices. So I'll be first uh, roasting them and then grinding them into a smooth batter. After that, um, I will cook them along with tamarind and also adding the tempering. So this is going to be a really delicious uh, chutney that can be served along with dosa. So let's get started. Place a nonstick pan over medium heat and I'm adding one tablespoon coconut oil. So let the oil melt. To the oil adding one tablespoon chana dal. So if you don't have chana dal, you can skip this, but this will give a nice uh, taste to this chutney. So just saute till it turns golden in color. And now I'm adding one onion chopped. Saute the onion. So next, adding two large garlic cloves chopped and two inch slice ginger chopped. Also adding three dried red whole chilies. So this is up to your heat level. If you want this chutney to be very spicy, you can add more red chilies. I've also added one teaspoon cumin seeds. Okay, so give everything a good mix. So next adding one chopped tomato. And one cup grated coconut so combine everything well and uh, let the coconut turn light golden in color so this will take at least um, five minutes uh, so we don't have to roast really well till the coconut turns brown so now as you can see coconut has turned light golden so next let it cool down and then I'm going to add everything to a blender jar so next adding one cup water So grind everything so it doesn't have to be a smooth paste it can be slightly coarse so in a bowl I have added two inch slice fresh tamarind and have added quarter cup water so I've soaked it for five minutes so place a pan over medium heat and let it turn hot and then I'm adding one tablespoon coconut oil so to the oil when it gets hot adding one teaspoon mustard seeds and let it splutter adding two dried red chilies so I have half the chilies so next let's add the ground chutney mixture so as you can see this is not a smooth paste it's coarsely ground so to Thin down the chutney and adding around half cup water. You can add to the blender jar, rinse it and then add to the pan. So let's cook this for a few minutes. Now it's time to add the tamarind extract. So I'm going to strain the soaked tamarind extract. And then adding that so I've added quarter cup water to two inch slice tamarind and 
I allowed it to soak for five minutes. So it will release all the juice. So give it a mix. Adding one teaspoon salt or if you want more salt you can add taste and add accordingly. That's it our chutney is ready. So next I'm going to transfer the chutney to a bowl. So I serve this chutney along with dosa. So I'll post the cooking video link for dosa in the description box. Here is our flavorful, aromatic and delicious chutney that can be served along with dosa or idli. So do give this recipe a try and let me know your feedback. So if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll be back with more cooking videos. Until then, happy cooking, take care and bye.